Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, some people have been asking me about this. Uh, what do I think? And it's the, I, the the news that Jeff Johns and Gary Frank are making a surprise jump to Image Comics with a title called Geiger. And this is, a, a lot of people have speculated this is an indication that DC is dying, that Jeff Johns jumping ship is a, is a very bad sign. And what does this mean? And Gary Frank being a, a great talent, what does that mean? And is this another indication that DC is coming to an end? Well, I, I don't, I, I, I think these two things are separate. I think people are combining the two and I don't necessarily think you can. I think that these are, these are two separate events and I'll explain why. First off, um, yes, Jeff Johns is going to wind up in 2020 with uh, probably one of the best selling comics under his belt. Uh, the Three Jokers book is likely to have the strongest numbers. It, there's a possibility that Death Metal might take it or some of the books with a lot of variants might take it. But in terms of just kind of raw sales, units moved, Three Jokers, both for the three issues that it put out and the trade that are co that's coming out, I think all of these things are combining uh, that will make it a, a pretty big seller. So Jeff Johns is going to end kind of as, as if not the top, definitely in the top three of creators who brought a comic that, that, that sells lots of money. And it is, it is also the case that, you know, Jeff Johns has announced that he is going to do some level of sequel to three jokers, uh, with Jason Fabok. And that's, again, it's, it's, it's a no brainer. It's a case of, you have uh, you have a highly selling book. Yeah, of course they're going to want to do more. So that will come uh, you know relatively soon as well. But think about it for a second before I get to this other piece. You have the Three Jokers hardcover coming out uh, basically this week, and you have DC really rushing this book out. I mean, it's, it's a book they're trying to get out for holiday. It's something that they're going to try and really capture the, as much of the money from this year as they can. So I think the idea that we're probably going to get some level of Three Joker sequel next year, I think it's it's highly likely. So I bring all that up to point out that Jeff Johns is still got a finger in the DC pot. Obviously, he's been part of kind of the larger Warner Media efforts, and I think he wants to continue to play ball there. It's probably where the power is going to sit. That's why Jim Lee is looking more in that area. And I think that I think that you're going to see him continue to have a presence there. Yes, I think the Ray Fisher allegations are definitely going to kind of be hung over his head. But the way everybody's acting and reacting right now with the Jeff Johns part of it is to say, it, are any more allegations going to come up? Is this going to get any more serious? Because at the moment, it's a kind of, you know, subtly push him out of the spotlight and just let let time pass. And the fact that that this controversy really isn't growing beyond Fisher and a handful of lunatics uh, on Twitter, uh, that, that it, it's unlikely it's going to stick. Now, by the way, this is not me saying that, you know, it's uh, he's he's innocent or he's guilty. I mean, who knows? I just when you look at these kinds of controversies, they, they have a, a, a pace and a momentum to them. And it really feels like this one is is stalled. It's the, the allegations came out. Some something is really going to have to come up, which which changes the the tempo for it to you know have a bigger deal with Jeff Johns. So, I, I think he's still going to continue to have a place there. If you look at what DC is doing in their their movies and their shows and everything else, they have a very ambitious schedule over the next three years, particularly on the HBO Max side of the world. And all of the changes and everything they've done really telegraph the fact that they're going to want a lot of effort there. And so Jeff Johns, whether he's able to or not, whether they trust him to or not, he's going to be trying to steer that and be deeply involved in that as much as he possibly can. Um, he that That's just, it's going to be what's best for his career, and that's where he's going to sit. So you'll see occasional efforts within DC, but really I think the next thing he'll want to do with DC Comics is a Three Joker sequel. That's, that's what, he's going to want to keep that reputation going of being the guy who doesn't bring constant comics to DC, but when he does, they're huge sellers. That's that's going to be the, the place he wants to sit. So then that takes us over to the Jeff Johns, Gary Frank announcement, which really caught a lot of people off guard. And as such, they're they're making maybe a bigger deal out of this than it is. I think that, you know, first off, you know, both have done their own stuff before. They, they've both moved outside of kind of the big two before. Um, Jeff Johns, uh, back, it's been a long time. It's been about 15 years since he did uh, Olympus. But, and, um, 
and uh, Frank is uh, uh, Gary Frank. He did Midnight Nation at Top Cow, which was an imprint of, of Image. He did Kin as well, but Midnight Nation was a was a huge uh, success for Gary Frank. It was a it's it's one that probably this is a case where Image and their model tends to almost defeat it a little bit. But getting Midnight Nation more out to shops, and I, I guarantee you, as we get closer to uh, Geiger, which is scheduled for April of 2021, you're going to see Image start to remember that Midnight Nation exists and and maybe Gary Frank as well. You're just going to see more trades and other things come out uh, from that. So what does it mean that the pair, I mean, first off, the pair like working together. Uh, we know that is true. They they liked it from Doomsday Clock and and they worked on Avengers together and they definitely are are uh, fond of each other and, and it's, a, it's a good collaboration between the two. I, I would suspect, and again, this is just me guessing here, um, based on the story that we're hearing, it does not fit well within what DC offers. It doesn't feel like even a black label book. It's very much outside of, of what DC would do. It's probably going to trend more mature than maybe what uh, DC wants. And you can go, well, wait a minute, Black Label does plenty of mature stuff. Yes, they do, but always or almost always within a superhero context. Yes, there's The Last God and there's other things they put out, but this book, at least from the little bits that we've heard, feels very, very different from what DC normally produces. So I, I don't think this is a case of, of you know, of, uh, Jeff Johns trying to jump ship. I, I, would, I would highly believe that he did not surprise DC with this information. I'd be willing to bet that there was at least a a brief conversation about what it would mean to, you know, put something else out there. But I would say at the same time, Jeff Johns is a savvy businessman. And I think if you're sitting there and you've got a, you know, one of the top selling books of 2020 with three jokers under your belt, you've got a decent amount of turmoil at DC in general, as people have come and gone and everything else, you have a high dependency to push your streaming service then going out and doing a you know a small book with a creator that's guaranteed to get some attention uh, that you like and doing it off an image it sends a little bit of a message that you know you you know you do have options and you are somebody who's in demand and you're going to be able to control the numbers coming out of this a little bit more and it's 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 going to help increase his profile uh, given everything that's happened with the Ray Fisher allegations with the shift of, of management at DC and everything that they've done, um, this this sends a little bit of a message that kind of encourages people to make sure that they're, you know, still thinking about old Jeff Johns, that uh, he's still a, a key contributor and person who can move numbers and do things at the company. It's, it's leverage. Um, I don't think this is Jeff Johns telegraphing that he'd like to leave what is guaranteed to be a pretty pretty massive check that he's getting out of Warner Media and go and do indie comics for Image. That would be financially insane to do. He's going to make a lot more money where he's currently at um, doing Warner Media and, and DC stuff that way. I think people forget, they, they kind of think in their heads that, oh, there's not a lot of money made out of comics. Uh, not for people at Jeff Johns level. He's He's got a very healthy salary that he gets. And his job, uh, put it this way, if his job was insecure and there were you know, a lot of risks to him losing his job, the second the Ray Fisher allegations came out and his name started getting out in the press, they would have dumped him immediately. The fact they have not and they've you know, basically tried to get a relatively low profile for everything he's done means they're just going to sit and wait this thing out. So this is Jeff Johns uh, increasing a little bit of leverage for himself. Put a little bit of coin in his pocket with something that he owns. You can probably, I would even argue that, you know, he and and Gary Frank going off and, and doing a project that they relatively control is seen as just a healthy thing for both of them to do, something they like to do. Both like working in comics and like doing things for comics, even though at least where Jeff John's concerned, a lot of his time takes him into doing other things. Um, this all makes sense. It all fits kind of a general profile of where these people are likely to end up. Um, I don't, you know, it, I'll put it this way. Tap me on the shoulder when you see three or four more series get announced for Jeff Johns. But just, you know, consider this. That would be a massive uh, career and financial step backward if Gary Frank started doing a bunch of stuff through Image and walked away from a really lucrative Warner Media position. Uh, is he likely to do that? Probably not. He worked very hard to get in the position he got into. 
There's not any real signs that that position is in jeopardy, and there's a lot of need over the next three to four years. So most likely, he's staying the course, and this is an opportunity for him to put a comic out there and remind people why he's a big deal. He's going to be able to throw some big numbers up on the board with this, and that's going to be that's going to be helpful to him. Uh, but in general, I think the the real prize he's looking at in terms of comics and numbers will be in this sequel to Three Jokers, and the fact that we got all three issues and the hardcover. And I would, you know, potentially there's, uh, you know, there's just, they're, they're throwing all of the cash for that event into this year. And that's going to be a pretty, when all is said and done, that's going to be a pretty big number. And I think Jeff Johns will be able to hang his hat and say he was the number one series uh, thing out of DC this year, or if not, definitely the number two. And that's, that's going to be, that's going to be a big deal for him. Anyway, what do you think? Are you excited about seeing this comic, the Geiger comic, which is promises a, a wasteland and a mystery and a lot of other kind of crazy stuff in a in a in a US, in an America that's gone wrong? Uh, there's a lot of that in image right now. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to it. Let me know if I've got it all wrong as well, and you think this is definitely an indication of Jeff Johns jumping ship and becoming a comic czar somewhere else. Let me know that too. Like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, but most importantly, thanks for listening.